it, it's Lucy again. You know, I, I must be using up all your tape on your machine, but if you'd call me back, then that wouldn't happen. Just call me, okay? I mean, you chased Serena and me right out of the woods. We were scared to death, and now we can't find you. You, you seem to have disappeared off the face of the earth, and I'm really worried, okay? That, that stranger card, I told you, it means trouble. I, I really do believe that. Ian, call me, please. I'm really worried. Just call me. <laughs> <laughs> you stole the blanket all night long, you know. Ah, stole a back, you mean? Okay. Mm. Whatever you say. Mm. Morning. Morning. Hey, you know, pretty soon we have to think about heading back to the real world. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Well, isn't it? I don't know. Going back there, starting over free and clear doesn't sound bad to me. Well, hey, wait a minute. When you put it that way, maybe not. I'm looking forward to going back. To start my new life with the woman I love. To raise our family. Hmm. I think before we go back, there's something I need to tell you. All right, what is it? Well, while we were separated, um, something that I never thought would happen, happened. I got a marriage proposal. You got a what? And not only that, I came this close to accepting. Hey, Chris. Hey. What's that? It's a ring box, Gabby. You're a woman. You know what it looks like, don't you? Well, who are you mad at? Who cares? It doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, so I guess that's everything. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't leave them out here all alone. I thought I could, but I can't. Baby, I baby, can't go, baby, guys. Listen to me. No, no, I can't. Stop. I baby, can't. Look at, look at me, Libby. Please. Libby, look at me. We gotta make plans. Okay, we gotta start figuring out how to take care of Zach and those those other bastards who did this. Zach. Libby, we're gonna make them pay for what they did. But first, let me first, first, we gotta get out of here before anybody sees us, okay? Everything we do now is for Jack, Libby. Justice will be done. Libby, I promise you. We promise. But it's gonna take all three of us, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's get out of here. Leaving another message for Ian? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you scared me. I didn't hear you come in. Sorry. Little chamomile? Oh, you're being very nice, but 
You hate chamomile, and you're just trying to make me stop worrying and ease the tension, and you are thinking I'm worrying too much, aren't you? Did I say anything? You are thinking it. You're thinking it very loudly. Look, Lucy, Ian's a big boy. <sighs> yeah, I know. But, Doc, you weren't there. You didn't see that card. That stranger card practically jumped out of my purse and landed in his hands, you know? And if nothing's wrong, then why hasn't he called me back? Not to mention the fact that I think Serena and I are the last people to even see Ian. All right, if you're that convinced he's in trouble, let me call Victor. I'm sure he can track him down. You know, that's okay. Maybe you're right, and Ian is just being Ian, and I'm... I'm just... <sighs> being yourself? Yeah. You know, you know what? I have been working 25 hours a day. The nurse's ball, it's starting. It's gonna be here before we know it. And, and my business, you know, trying to get that back organized. And, and Serena, I've been trying to be with her all the time, not to mention trying to find just some... Us time for me and you. And Lucy, you've done a great job in every single area. Oh, wow. But you are pretty <laughs> tense. You know, I can help you with that. Well, I'm, I'm also... Uh, Doc, it's Livy, too. You know, she hasn't called me back. I've left her messages. Livy hasn't called? No, Jack hasn't called back. I left messages at the bike shop. No one's even answering at the bike shop. And that tells me something is wrong. And besides, I feel it. I feel like something is going on, and the universe is trying to tell me that. All right, we'll go to the bike shop in a little while, but what if I were to tell you that there's a very good reason why the universe would be sending you messages and it has nothing to do with Ian or the nurse's ball? Today, it's about Christina. She's two years old today, too. It's been all year since we had that wonderful little party for her. Do you remember how much fun that was? Yeah, it was fun, all the cake and toys and the balloons and... a whole year I, I just i can't believe a whole year's gone by it's gone by so f fast and then the same time has gone by so slow I'm so, so miss her i still so miss her i miss her so I much stuff Chris Ramsey asked you to marry him. Surprise. <laughs> and you thought about accepting it? Well, under the circumstances, I thought it was one of the only alternatives I had. I was grateful. I ran into the man in the recovery room. He's holding a ring. Chris never told me he bought a ring. Well, he never told me you were the intended bride. Well, he was only being my friend. You sure about that? You sure there wasn't any ulterior motive? Yes, I'm sure. He was just being my friend this time. He, in fact, he's the one that pushed me to tell you about the baby. And when I decided I couldn't, he stepped up. He was really there for me. I don't know. Poor Chris. He really wanted a family. All right, all right, all right. He stuck by you. He was there for you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. I'm even happier that you turned him down, that you made your way up to the monster. Pretty smart of me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and lucky for me. And you're right. I should pity Chris. And every other man that isn't me right now. I have this kind of love. Only for us. And our child. <sighs> and our child. Take me home, Ian. Home. Listen, Gabby, I have a jeweler coming by, so if you're at the desk... I won't later... be. You're on duty, aren't you? Do I look like I'm on duty? Dr. Oh, I suppose you don't. It's awfully fancy for the hospital. Thank you. I'm actually having dinner with my family. Why? It's not Sunday. Guess what, Chris? When you like your family every day, Sunday. I enjoy spending time with them. Well, I guess when they passed out the I Love Family cards, they missed my treat. If I'm not mistaken, you have a family. Your brother, Jack? You do remember you have a brother, don't you? Look, we're gonna have to do something about that fence. Fence? The one we use for the coffin. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Good God. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I just, uh, I can't stop shaking, okay? okay? This is gonna sound harsh coming so soon, but we're gonna have to get it together, okay, and fast. Because if we don't, Zack and Sam and the rest of those animals are gonna get away scot-free. And when you, what you said about Zack and his gang framing you so it looked like you were the one who hurt uh, or killed Jack, can they do that? Yeah, they're probably getting this story straight right now. I'm sure they've had plenty of experience lying to the police, too. Well, I got the feeling this isn't the first time that they have tried this smuggling thing, either. There's this, um, there's this guy, Billy, I know. He got hurt pretty bad. Ryan for Zach a couple races ago. That's the guy in the wheelchair. I'm hoping he might be ready to roll over on Zach. And you're right, we can't we can't just sit around because we, we have to do something because Jack can't. All right, well, step one is getting back to Port Charles. All and right. that's what we do. And right. the first thing we take care of when we get back is we can show you don't get the blame for it. Anybody in here know whose car that is out front towing the wrecked bike? Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that, that, that's mine. Is something wrong? I just got through talking to a farmer who tells me some bikes went roaring past his place and destroyed some property. A fence. You kids know anything about it? You called to their clinic in the Appalachians. I did. I feel really bad about backing out, though. Not too badly, I hope. Well, I promised them that I'd find him another doctor. It's all right. I'll make a few phone calls. We'll find him somebody. Okay. Not as talented or as sexy as you. Or as pregnant. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Let me make you more beautiful. Aww. You ready for a new start? I am. Mm. Mm. Got to concentrate on us. Just us. Okay. While we can. Okay, but one thing before we go. Can we please stop by the monastery just to say goodbye to Michael together? All right, if that's what you want. Yes. Okay, uh, you sure you got everything? Yeah, I, everything. I got everything. Oh, except you forgot something. Ah, uh, right. Well, I can't wait to give this back to Lucy. Give her a hard time about it. All this worrying for nothing. It's my favorite kind. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> it just never goes away. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much I throw myself into my work or think about the nurse's ball or try to solve other people's problems. It's just always there. And sometimes I think I've actually pushed it down and then all of a sudden it just comes pouring back out again. And it feels like it just happened yesterday. And I, I, I am trying to find a balance. I swear, that's what I'm trying to do, you know, balance it out. And that's what I keep thinking. I've made progress, you know, these past few months. But any progress you made just made you feel guilty. You knew that? You think I don't know when you're thinking about Christina? Thank you. It's just today, you know, as this day got closer and closer, it got worse and worse. And then last night, I couldn't sleep. I, I think what I was trying to do is just not feel anything. But grief doesn't work that way. Well, I should have learned that then, huh? Lucy, you've done a lot of other things in the last year. You've done an incredible job of just getting on with living. Not to mention all the things you brought to my life. I will. Hi. Uh, Lucy Co. Yeah. Don at the office said to deliver this here. Oh, thanks. He tipped me already. Oh, he did tip you, huh? It's probably out of my budget, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day. From. I don't know. It's just one of our office letters, and it's got my name on it. No postmark or return address or anything. <sighs> Lucy. Oh, my God. It, it, it's Christina. <laughs> so, you know about the fence? Yeah. Yeah, we know about it. I, I actually busted it. I was going to pay for the damage. Uh, I just need to get myself together, that's all. By the looks of that bike, you must have been pretty shaken up. Yeah. Yeah, the fences would save me. Um, you know, I hit a bump, and I just flew right into it. So you two were with him? No. No, they just got here this morning. Um, it actually took them a while to find me. Yeah. And then uh, once we did, uh, you know, like, our, our car would start right away, and... We didn't have a phone or anything, but, you know, we're, we're fine now. Yeah, we're all fine. All fine, you say? 
And I promise to talk to that farmer about, you know, the fence and everything. Well, if everybody is all fine, then what's that? You've got blood on you. Two had left. Well, we're, we're going to, but we, we wanted to stop by here and say goodbye first. Oh, all of your hard work. Why would someone do this, desecrate a church like this? Do you know who did this? I wish I didn't. D did you hear someone, see someone, what? He's my brother. He's a very troubled man. Your brother? Someone must have let him out. Lucy? I want to read the letter. I'm, I'm ready. I can read it. I want, I want to read it. Are you sure? Yes, I want to read the letter. I know. Just... Hold it by the corners. Right. No fingerprints. Dear Lucy, I know you'll always hate me for what I've done. I can't say I'm sorry, but I think of how I'd feel if I were you. That's why I'm writing. So you'll know Christina's fine and happy. Healthy as can be. She laughs all day. She's interested in everything. The questions come a mile a minute. She still loves vanilla ice cream. And we watch the sun go down together almost every night the way you did. She loves to see the stars and make a wish. She's the most precious thing in the universe to meet Lucy and she'll always come first. That's my promise to you. There'll never be a little girl in the world who's loved more than Christina. Always know that. Julie. P.S. I know you'll keep trying to find us, but this letter can't be traced. I made sure of that. Lucy. We'll She's growing up, Doc. Look, look, look at that little face. Look at that face. She's changed so much, and she's growing up without me. Up here. I've been down in emergency for half an hour. Hey, Colleen, Dr. Ramsey. Down in emergency, huh? On the dot, just like I told you. So then why weren't you there 20 minutes ago when I was there looking for you? You're not trying to bail on this, are you? Me? You know I'm always ready for family night. Hey, Gabby. Um, enjoy your dinner. Thanks. We will. It's nice to see your brother and sister that close, huh? a certain sickeningly sweet charm to it. You know what? Uh, sign me out for a while. If anyone needs me, I'll be on myself. Okay. Uh, if anybody asks. Just tell them I went to see my brother. Right there. On your hand. Oh. That. that uh, I got that when I wiped out. Yeah, pretty lucky, I guess. It could have been a lot worse. You kids are lucky. Try to be more careful next time. I don't want to have to scrape you up off the blacktop one day. Understood, officer. Thank you. Oh, man. Can you believe that he believed us? Oh, you think that's bad? It's going to get a lot worse. As long as we stick together, right, we can get through. We're all we have. We better get back, okay? All right. All right, let's get out of here. are you okay? Yeah. I just, um... I, 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 I get... We, we can't... I, leaving Jack out there, you know? Livia, it won't be for long. Look, okay. and Jack knows what we're doing and why. Yeah. yeah, right after we take care of Zach and Sam, I promise we'll bring him back home. I swear, we'll bring him back to poor Charles where he belongs.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles. Tainted love. This poor Charles. You know, maybe we should just go ahead and call the police and let them no. kill. No police. Just want to see my little brother. Your brother? Yeah, my brother, Jack.